okay so finally i just made it in time in studio to be able to pre-order my iphone 14 so you can see the website here says almost there still says holding there come on apple <sighs> a lot of strain on the server okay so what you can see here is my iphone screen and we are going to go and pre-order this new iPhone before it sells out and get the latest delivery in-store pickup date. So the way I typically order my iPhones as usual, I use the Apple Store app. So if we go into this application, you see this one that says Apple Store. So if we click on it right there, sometimes depending on your region it might still be loading so be patient and keep refreshing your app close it and open it again but you can see for me here it's ready to go without wasting much time you can see the new iphone 14 pro so the way i usually shop if i go to the bottom right left section rather of my iphone there where it says shop and go down to shop by product and select iphone so you can see the iPhone 14 Pro and you can see the different sizes the SE as well as well as some accessories that you can also pre-order with your iPhone for me I'm interested in this iPhone 14 Pro because I wasn't too impressed with the lineup of the iPhone 14s this year the 14 Max it's probably going to be a big seller because people like the bigger screen and what's a hundred dollars so i'm going to be pre-ordering the iphone 14 pro so let's select here you can see it even shows up on the top because it's the i guess it's the iphone that has a change this year so we are going to be able to select that and you can see pre-order iphone 14 pro available on the 16th so let's go ahead and select our configuration so we have the ability to be able to select iphone 14 pro or the iphone 14 pro max now for me as you can see here the price is actually starting at 1400 dollars and this seems higher than us dollars because i'm in canada and the canadian dollar is slightly weaker than the us dollar so i have this big android device that you see here and you can see you know my iphone that i currently use this is a 6.1 this is a 6.7 so when doing apple videos like apple watch videos like this sometimes it's hard to maneuver like a big device like this because you can't reach in the corner there so for that reason i just feel like for me this iphone 14 pro is better so we just select iphone 14 pro i'll select deep purple that's the new color and that's the color that apple has been showing off most of the uh, like during most of the events so you can see the, our iphone 14 pro right there and then the storage that we need i typically go for the 256 gigs and you can see there that there's an increase of about 150 canadian dollars so We'll go for that as well and then do i have an iphone to trade in i don't but even if i did i most probably wouldn't because i know like i would be better off getting a better deal somewhere else like on facebook or on craigslist or on ebay something like that so i typically don't trade in directly to apple it's better to sell privately so we we'll say no trade in and then Apple Care Plus, uh, this is something that I'm planning to add on later. So you can see you can pay monthly $12.50 or $250 for two years. So we'll say no coverage for now. And then you can see our grand total basically. And as you can see here, we have iPhone 14 Pro Max, 256 gigs, deep purple and i am going to be paying cash right out of the box you can see what comes in the box right there so free delivery free pickup and that's basically it i just have to confirm my delivery information right there as you can see there there's a pop-up that says show delivery and pickup details so my screen might be censored or some information might be covered this is for privacy reasons boom i've managed to confirm my pick up i like to pick it up in store because it's way faster sometimes delivery takes long so i've managed to confirm my pickup center and then i'm now going to say add to bag some accessories that you may also like 
Apple is always going to try and sell you some other accessories like a power brick since this won't come with a power brick. But for now, we'll keep it as is and click where it says continue right there. Um, come on, it's loading, loading, loading. See right there, it's loading. Oh, come on, 5.18, you see the time right there? 5.18, still loading, okay, it's done loading. Um, so here you can see the total iPhone f comes to about you know 1550 and delivers on September 16 that's the most important thing and my pickup is at Apple Richmond Center so boom you can see it right there that is our order information that we are going to be doing with this iPhone 14 Pro now Let's confirm this before it's too late. So with tax, whoa, with tax, that's uh, $185 of tax. So all in all, it comes to a grand total of $1,735, Canadian dollars that is in US. It's probably like 1,500 or 1,400. So let's go ahead and check out and then we'll continue or pay with Apple Pay. So buy with Apple Pay. Face ID. Come on. Come on. Don't take long. Come on. Why? Maybe I should try on the laptop just to see. It's always a headache when it comes to pre-ordering this. Okay, an error occurred. Okay, let's go ahead and try with the Mac. So iPhone, iPhone 14 Pro, with deep purple. That's the newest color that's here for this year's lineup. And then no trading, Apple Care Plus later. And then we will say add to bag, and then review bag. Oh, the page you are looking for can't be found. You're all set and I have my order number and it's an install pickup for September 17 for the iPhone 14 Pro. So that's that's how we, we managed to do it this time around. It's kind of unfortunate because, you know, every time, for, especially for the iPhone, pre-orders are like crazy, like the app stops responding and so on. I bet you if I was to cancel my order here on the iPhone, let me just close this app for some reason and try again and see which window I get here. Oh my God, you see this app? <laughs> it's overloaded in the meantime. Yeah, so many people use the app. So here it actually says that it's not available at 10 nearest stores. So either I'll be going with a higher storage device like you can see there if i was to go for the iphone 14 pro 250 actually 512 gigs it will be available on september 16 but wh why do i need 500 gigs but you can see there that uh for me actually right now there is it's not available at the 10 nearest apple store close to me which means i would be ha i'll have to drive like a long way in order to get it on september 16. so that's what we stuck with but we just cancel this order and since i ordered on the web i want to show you how you can find your order before you even get your email confirmation from apple so if you go to the bottom section that says for you right there and then go to where it says check the status of your recent orders click there you will see that your order is right there and it was placed on september 9th 2022 you have your order number and status where it, we, we received your order right and if you click there you can see the information about your order so iphone 14 pro 256 gigs deep purple and it's going to be picked up at the at this apple store on september 17 between this time frame so at least i have confirmation that my order has been received and the confirmation email will be sent sometime later on as the servers are probably overloaded
other than that guys that's about it for me when it comes to my pre-ordering experience with the iphone 14 pro if you'd like to see content on those devices the brand new apple watch ultra which i also pre-ordered and the brand new iphone 14s then do subscribe down below so that you are able to enjoy this experience with me along the way stay safe and i will see you in the next video peace